Hello everyone, my name is CMA Pankhtivini. Welcome back to CMA Modules. In this video lecture, we will be studying about uh, sum number 3, sum number 4 and sum number 5. So sum number 3, prepare an analytical petty cash book on the impressed system of Ashutosh, Kolkata from the following transactions. So here we are supposed to prepare petty cash book. So petty cash book is pretty simple. We are just supposed to record our receipts and our payments. That's it. And we are done. So how we are supposed to record our payments? So based on the head, expenses head, we, what we'll do is we'll prepare our columns. So suppose if we have conveyance expense, we'll prepare conveyance column, carriage, cartage expense, stationary expense. According to our expenses, we'll create a column and that column, uh, uh, we'll, we'll, according to the question, we'll insert amount in that column, this column. Let us begin the question. So on 1st Jan 2022, received cash for petty expenses. So what you did, you received cash for petty expenses. So 1st Jan 2022, you are receiving cash. Sorry, on 1st Jan 2022, you are receiving a cash. And the cash amount is 20,000. Okay, and here this is nothing but your opening balance or petty cash to cash okay cash book cash opening amount then you have you have next next is related to your second jam paid bus fare so what you are doing so you are paying a bus fare as on second jan 2022 to bus fare Bus fare is your expense. So bus fare to petty cash. So under petty cash, it will be by bus fare. And under conveyance, you are supposed to write down 100 rupees. And here under total payment, you will write down 100 rupees. Then you will go for again 2nd Jan. Okay, again 2nd Jan. 2nd Jan is by cartage. So by cartage, what is there? 1000 rupee, uh, 500. You are making a payment of 500 and under this column, you'll write down 500. Then you have postage. So here you'll write down 3rd Jan. So by postage, okay, by postage, 1000 rupees. So under postage, if you'll write 1000, then you have next one, 3rd Jan. 3rd Jan by wages, wages amount is 1200, under wages you will write down 1200, then you have next one as uh, paid wages for casual workers, so again you have wages, ah ok sorry paid for stationery, then is 4th Jan, 4th Jan 2022, by stationery so you have by stationery 800 and here under printing and stationery 800 then you have 4th Jan under 4th Jan you have by charges so by charges you have 400 and under this charges so you don't have separate column for charges so what you will do is so those charges are for what paid for auto charges so that is conveyance so you will write it down for conveyance then you have paid for repairs on 5th Jan 2022 you are paying for repairs Okay, you are paying it for repairs of chair, 3000 and that repairs is related to your sundries because you don't have any other separate column. You can create one, otherwise you go for sundries. Then you have paid for bus fare. So again, that comes under conveyance, paid for bus fare on 5th Jan. On 5th Jan, buy bus fare. That comes under paid for bus fare 200 and it will be under conveyance. Paid for cartage. So by cartage, it will be on uh, 6th. 
ओके सॉरी आफ्टर बस फेयर आई मिस आउट वन कन्वेन्स चार्जेस सो कन्वेन्स चार्जेस इज सिक्स हंड्रेड हियर एंड इट इज ऑन सिक्स जैन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड अगेन इट विल कम अंडर कन्वेन्स देन आई गो फॉर नेक्स्ट पेड फॉर कार्टरेज सो अगेन यर एंड यर आई टेक बाय कार्टेज and buy cartridge is 600 year and again 600 year then you have 6th jan 2022 paid for stationery stationery is 400 and under printing and stationery it will be 400 then you have by general expenses refreshment to customers you are paying so again on 6th jan okay you have by general expenses or you can write it down refreshment that's 1000 rupees that will be under sundries so i am done with it please total it up 9800 same thing i'll be doing for rest columns i'll get total this total i am supposed to okay so this is 9800 what i'll do here is i will go for balance so have they given me balance carried down or anything no anything related to it is not given so as on 6th jan 2022 20000 minus 9800 10200 is left so by balance carried down okay so this part is done i was having 20000 as total out of that if i remove 9800 i'll get 10200 as balance carried down i hope you are comfortable with this sum so this is nothing but this is your total okay so your total is ready okay let's go for sum number 4 so sum number 4 they are asking us to prepare bank reconciliation here so on comparing cash book of uh, uh, shaksham with bank pass book for the year ended 31st march 22 following discrepancies were noticed out of 8200 paid in by check into bank on 25th march checks amounting to 30000 were collected so here you are supposed to go for bank reconciliation as 31st march Uh, so how you are supposed to check that so what you will do here is uh, you have you are supposed to compare between cash book and pass book so now suppose i am an accountant and i am sitting here uh, in the office and suppose client will directly pay in the bank account okay i'll not come to know okay when i check with the pass book then only i'll come to know that what is the exact situation then in this case what i need to do is i need to compare my cash book and my bank book and need to find out the difference so that comparison of cash book and bank book is nothing but reconciliation so on comparing cash book of shaksham with bank pass book we got following discrepancies so what all are the discrepancies so always start with cash book balance okay always that's the rule always start with cash book balance balance as per cash book always start with cash book balance so balance as per cash book we have debit balance they have given so what is balance as per cash book so it is 1,58,280 if you see they have given you 1,58,280 as opening balance of cash book okay 1,58,280 now to this i'll add and subtract and i'll get my answer i should get 126000 then it will match let me show you let me take you through the question and then i'll start so out of 82000 paid in check into bank on 25th march checks amounting to 30000 were collected on 5th april 
out of checks drawn amounting to 31200 on 28th march a check for 10000 was presented on 3rd april a check for rupees 4000 entered in cash book but omitted to be banked on 31st march so completely they have not banked it then you have a check of 2400 deposited into bank but omitted to be recorded in cash book and was collected by the bank on 29th